Okay, you also did an amazing study this time on the fungal, fungiome or whatever, the, the fungal microbiome, basically. Yeah. Of the, and was this of the small or large intestine? It was a small, wasn't it? Small intestine, small intestine. Which has yeah. never been done, right? I don't think. So not shot, well, we were the first to do shotgun sequencing of the small bowel period. Um, so, and then we were able to see the fungome and the fungome is interesting. So there is CFO. It's not common. Um, among our SIBO patients, it's about 5% of the SIBO patients. So maybe one in 20 might have SIBO and CFO, uh, but you don't know because you don't, we don't have a breath test for CFO. We don't have, you know, we don't have a good indirect measurement for CFO, but uh, and it is candida albicans, occasionally glabrata, which is more toxic and more problematic. But it generally went along with SIBO. So the higher the candida albicans, the higher the SIBO was, which I thought was interesting. Um, but, you know, we need to know more. Uh, that's the basic knowledge of what we've discovered so far. And you also had another study that related to that, where there was something about anti um, antimicrobial resistant resistance having to do with fungus, wasn't there? Or like penicillin or something? Oh, yeah. So um, so this was a, an amazing study that we did, which didn't get a lot of as much attention because it's, you know, everybody wants to know what we're doing about SIBO, right? So the other stuff becomes sort of like curiosities, but this is super important. So we actually identified fungal elements in a normal person's gut that produce penicillin. Well, we know penicillin is a fungus, right? Uh, and we found penicillin producing fungi in the small bowel. And when those fungi are there, there's more penicillin resistance in the bacteria. So again, it's a thing where we blame humans for microbial resistance, but it's always been there and it's maybe normal. And so the question is raised, which could lead to another therapy, but the question is raised, Maybe the fungal elements are controlling SIBO and not allowing it to happen in some patients because they produce penicillin locally and keep the microbes like this instead of like this. Um, these are questions now we have to answer because we found this stuff. Um, so. So fascinating.